Hi everyone, this is an introduction to the Arabic alphabet. For those of you studying in college or overseas and need a refresher, or those of you who are trying to read the Quran, uh, this should be a good review for you, as well as those who are first learning Arabic. There's not a lot of good materials out there uh, to cover the alphabet and pronunciation, so I hope to cover all of that in these videos. Um, today we're going to start going over just the general parts of the Arabic alphabet. Um, Arabic has 28 letters. So it's not as intimidating as you may think. It's actually pretty similar to English. And English has 26 letters. Um, one thing that you do notice is that Arabic is written from right to left. So it's the opposite of what we do. Um, I'm left-handed, so it's easier for me, um, but for all the right-handed people out there, you guys might have to get used to it. Um, out of these 28 letters, there are some variations, and then there's also vowel marks. So each letter can have uh, marks above it or below it that tell you how to pronounce it, tell you what, to put, um, what vowel to put on it. Um, and the whole language is written in cursive, so the letters connect to each other. Um, so I'm going to give you all an example. This says Hada. And Al-Kitab. So Hada Al-Kitab. That means this book. So you can see there's a separation between the two words. And you can also see that some of the letters don't connect to each other. Uh, and there are certain letters, I'll go over them in these videos, uh, they don't connect to the letter after them. But all letters always connect to the letter before them. Uh, in this case, this letter actually doesn't connect to the next letter, and this one doesn't connect to the letter uh, after it. So you can see it again here. It doesn't connect to this letter right here. So you can see this is an H, this is a TH, this is like an A, this is another A, this is an L, this is a K, this is a T, this is another A, and this is a B. So if you read it uh, right to left, you're going to get something like Hatha. Uh, Al-Kitab. And you can see some of the letters don't show up because they are these diacritical marks. These are just short vowels, and we'll get to all that later. Um, today we're going to go over the first seven letters of the alphabet, and I'm going to show you how to write them. The first letter is really easy, um, but it also gets really complicated later on. So the first letter is called Alif, and it's just one line up and down. And it's spelled like this. Um, this letter usually makes an A sound, but it can also make an O sound and an E sound. Um, it, it gets really confusing later, but hopefully we'll cover that in later videos. All you have to know right now, it is just a one stroke up and down. And that is called Alif. Uh, the next letter, the next family of letters, actually, they all look the same. The first one is ba, and it has this little shape, and it has a dot under it. And this makes a B sound. Just like the normal English B. Uh, the next letter is ta. It has the same shape, you can see it's the exact same shape, but it has two dots above it. And that makes the equivalent of an English T sound. Nothing fancy. The next one is THA. Again, the exact same shape, but you have three dots above it. And it makes a TH sound like the word THING. In English, TH can either be THE or THA. Um, there's different letters in Arabic for both those sounds. Uh, this one is just tha. So again, um, these four, alif, 
B, T, Th. And I'm giving these in the particular order that people usually memorize Quran. People that learn how to read Quran, they usually mem uh, learn the alphabet in this order. There are other orders for the Arabic alphabet, but this is usually how people learn it. So these are the first four letters. And the next three, this is a family of letters because they all look the same. Um, the next three uh, also form a similar family. Uh, the first one is Jean. And this makes a J sound. Just like in English, uh, like the word George or Judge uh, is this letter in Arabic, J. The next letter is the first one on this list that's really hard to pronounce. It's H. So when people usually write this in English letters, they won't write an H. They'll actually write a 7 because it looks kind of like a 7 in Arabic. It's almost like the sound that you make when you're taking off your glasses and you kind of blow from the back of your mouth to get uh, to clean your glasses. It's a ha. So it's not quite an H, but it's not a ha. So when you hear people say Ahmed, they're actually pronouncing it wrong. It's actually this letter that, they're, that they want to try to pronounce. It's Ahmed. So this, again, is ha. You actually get used to it after a while. Um, pronouncing a lot of these letters does just take practice, and your ear has to get used to it. Um, so there's no dot in this one. There's a dot in the jim, and there's no dot in the ha, but they have the same shape. Uh, the next letter is ha. It's the exact same shape, but it has a dot above. And this is also hard to pronounce. Um, but people usually write a KH for H. Um, it's similar to, the, like in Hebrew, people say Hanukkah. Um, it's the exact same sound in Arabic. Um, but Arabic differentiates between the H and the H. And modern Hebrew usually just has a H for both. So these are the first seven letters of the 28 letter alphabet. Um, to show you guys how these are written in cursive, let me open up another layer. Um, the alif doesn't ever connect to a letter after it. So it either looks like this or it looks like this. So there would be a letter right here and then this would be the alif. And then the rest of the word would start right here. It would just not connect to the alif and would just keep going. So the, the rest of these letters on the screen all do connect. So for example, the ba, when it's all by itself, it just looks like this. So if it's not connected to anything, it just looks like uh, the normal letter. Um, if it's at the beginning of a word, it'll look like this. And it'll connect to the next letter, and it just looks like half of it with the dot under it. If it's in the middle, you just go up and you keep going. And it, you keep the dot under it. So it's just like a line, and then it keeps connecting to the, next, to the rest of the word. And then at the end, it looks similar to this, to when it is alone, and it just completes it. So it just completes the shape. So this is actually three baz. So if this were an Arabic word, it could be ba, ba, ba. So this is like b, b. B. And these are little vowel marks, and I'll uh, get to that in another video. So it's similar for the other uh, two letters in this family. Um, all you would have to do is get rid of all the dots and keep the same shape. And if you wanted to make this ta, you would just put two dots above it. So this would be like T, T, T. The it's read that way. So if you put that little A mark above it, it's ta ta ta. Uh, again, with the tha, let me start over here. So this is again, this is like th, th. Th, tha, tha, tha. Uh, also, with the ta and the tha, 
you can also write them when people uh, sometimes people's handwriting is different but when you see a tat some people can just put a straight line like that like they're having the two dots and then they're just connecting them also with the tha people can just go like that um, but usually in computer fonts, uh, you will see all the dots. And in uh, written Qurans, you'll also see the dots. And in calligraphy, you'll never see this in calligraphy. Um, this is the more casual way of writing the, those two letters. So you can see, again, the, these letters do connect. So this would be three thas in uh, one word. If th This isn't an Arabic word. This is just an example of how one word connects. If there was another word after this, it wouldn't connect. So the breaks always, if there's a break, there's always a break between two words. There's never two words that connect. Um, to go over the jim, the ha, and the ha, uh, we're going to do the same thing. So by itself, the jim is just like that. When it's at the beginning, it's just like this. When it's, in, when it's in the middle, it's just like this. And when it's at the end, it looks similar to what it does when it's uh, alone. So that, again, ja, ja, ja. So it's like three J's, and you're going this way. Uh, similar with the, let me see here. With the ha, it's going to be the same. Ha, ha, ha. So again, people write this with the seven, so it's like three sevens. Uh, then it's the same for the cha. All you would have to do is just keep the same shape, but you would add a dot above it. Cha, cha, cha. So let's do an example here. Um, if you wanted to do um, if you wanted to put Aleph in all this, so let's connect more than one of these letters together. So if you put uh, a Ba at the beginning, let's say you wanted to attach an Aleph to it, you would just go up. So that would be a B and an A. When the Aleph is like this, it actually makes this A sound longer. So this would be Ba. Uh, we'll get to the vowels later in another video, but this is just to show you how the letters connect to each other. So the Aleph doesn't actually connect to the next letter. So if you put another B, then it would just be by itself. But this is still one word. There's nothing over here and there's nothing over here. So this is actually an Arabic word that means door. Bab. Bab. So B-A-B. -B. Remember it's read from right to left. Uh, another example, let's get some of these other letters in there. Uh, hub. Hub is ha, ba. Uh, again, we'll get to these, letter, or these little marks later. This is actually just indicating the oo sound. So this would be like the seven. It's a ha sound, it's not an h. And this is a b. So hub. So there's a little U in here. Um, again, these two letters connect to each other because these always connect to the letters before and after them in one word. So that's all for the first seven letters. Uh, be sure to subscribe and look forward to the next videos. I hope this helps.